Hello everyone. I am Sachin Kalia with you and all, along with me Abhishek Matre. Hi Abhishek. Hi Sachin. How are you doing today? Yeah, all good. Thank you. How about you? All good. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly good to hear you. Uh, so guys, uh, we have planned uh, to start a new series related to Azure DevOps. So because it is one of the prominent area nowadays uh, where most of the guys like us uh, are seeking various opportunity to work upon whenever being a developer. Uh, you also should have such skills where you can create your own CI CD pipeline. So Abhishek uh, will kick off this from his end and will explain us uh, what he is targeting today and what can be future aspect if we see. Abhishek, your inputs on this, please. Thank you very much, Sachin. Thank you. And uh, because as you said, uh, today we are going to start a new DevOps series. So this will be the preliminary video. And in this video, we will be covering, we will focus on the three different uh, topics, which is what are the primary requirements of creating repo in the Azure DevOps, how to enable Git in your project, how to push your code to report remote repository in DevOps. So after that, we in subsequent videos, we'll coming up with the more complex scenarios, but just let's get started. Uh, Sachin, shall I? Yeah, so. All right. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Waiting for that. All right. So my, my first question is, what are the primary requirements of the creating repo in DevOps? Two things, number one, your code, and second thing is your Azure DevOps account. These two preliminary things has to be ready with you. I already have both the things ready with me. So this is my demo project, what I have created in .NET uh, uh, Core 3.1 framework. You can choose your, your language. You can choose your project, you, up to you. And second right. thing is, Second thing is the Azure DevOps account. I already have the Azure DevOps account and uh, my my organization, my project name, I'll, I'll be creating a project here, but my organization name is Azure Talk Org. Okay, so without delay, let's get started. Yeah, please uh, share your screen as well. All right. All yeah, I right can see then. that. Great, thanks. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the uh, the code piece. Uh, let me put down my question somewhere in the paragraph. That's it. First step, first thing first. So, this is my project. I'm on the command shell, uh, command terminal, where I can see my working directory, my working project is the first web app and it has this much of content ready. And additionally, explicitly, I have added this git ignore file just because the bin and obj folder should not go to my remote repository anyhow. Yeah, okay, yeah. The, uh, the another question is how to enable git in your project. This may take a couple of minutes. So let's get started with this. First step is to go and write in git in it. Currently, I don't have version controlled uh, mechanism in this project, so I have to uh, get it started. Git init is the command which will allow my system to be version controlled. As soon as I click on git init, it will uh, initialize empty git repository in this. If you want to see this, how uh, so after applying the git init command. Uh, I got another hidden folder dot git. That is the main folder who make, who handles all the git uh, commands inside and version control. Next command is git uh, add and dot. Dot stands for all the files. Add for means you are asking git to add your all the files in your version control system. Hitting it. So there would be a warning, but that does not mean a lot. Yep. Next command is git commit. That is actually the sequence of commands you have to learn about it. And I'm writing git commit. Commit means finally you are committing your content, your changes to your git repository, right? Hyphen M stands for the message. You have to pass any specific message, any customized message to 
because this is my initial step, initial uh, commit. So I'm giving this message to it. You can write anything what you want. But that is mandatory. I just now committed my total content to Git. So if I go and apply status, you see, I am currently working on master branch and nothing yeah. to commit left. It means my working tree is completely clean. Otherwise, it, there would have been differences. One more command I can see, uh, tell you, uh, this is git log. Git log will tell me when and how, what uh, the commit I have actually made to this repository. Mind it, currently everything is available in my local system. It is no, It has no relationship with the remote repository anyhow because we have not yet reached to the Azure portal. The another step, next step is to reach to the Azure portal and so that we can sync our local con uh, content with the rep remote repository. Okay, fine, coming here. So that is my uh, dev portal, dev.azure.com, Azure DevOps and I need to create a new project here, go to new project, I'm giving this project name is demo uh, DevOps. And this is a, I'm sorry, this is a demo project. That's it. I mean, any description you wish to give. I'm creating a public kind of repository and just create it. Within a few, few seconds, Azure DevOps would create a project for you and it is done. Yeah, if, perfect. Okay, great. So we have been given five, five services by Azure DevOps. These are the maximum five services Azure is allow, allowing. We can opt or opt out any of the services if on the need basis. So my primary focus would be for this video uh, is repos because any other service would not be effective until repo is ready. So we have to make our repo ready first. Either you can go from here or go from here. Both are the same. We do have the two different options. Number one option is this one. Number second option is this one. First option is for when you do have your repository on the remote system available so that you can just download, you can just clone it in your local system and start working on that. But because we do not have any uh, repository there on the remote, so we have to opt the second option, which is push an existing repository from command line. It means we have the code ready in our local system, which we wanted to push to the remote yeah right currently nothing is available here so what i need to do is my i need to push my local code to here how how i can do this let me show you here so there are basically two command sets uh, proposed by uh, azure i mean this is my repository remote repository address so i have to copy this uh, one way is to completely copy both the commands from here and apply yeah. here. So the first command, yeah. first command would create a connection. It would uh, uh, create a handshake from local repository to a remote. And second command will push the complete content of my local repository to the remote repository. So git push is the is the main command which is sending my content from here to there. Let me hit it, and uh, it will do some operation. Let's see. It it has performed some operations, various different things are coming and at the end, you will see two HTTPS Azure, dev.azure.com and this repository, new branch has been created there with the name of master. Uh, and it has pushed my master branch code, which is local to the remote uh, origin mask uh, repository. Oh, no. Now, go back to this portal and just refresh it once again, bingo. We have received all the yep. code which was available in my local repository here right awesome great and now uh, the another small uh, demonstration after this is i wanted to make a small change in my repository uh, in my code and which i now want to push to uh, azure devops how to do it okay there are two options one is, uh, for example, I wanted to go to pages and uh, index.cshtml. I can directly edit this content from um, here, but I wanted to do this thing from my uh, code side itself. Let's see how to do it. So if I 
go to this uh, explorer let me make change here uh, for example i am writing welcome to azure devops to i am reducing some content from here uh, uh, Ashik, you can write welcome to azure devops with azure talk oh great welcome to azure devops with azure talk uh, it is a kind of show yeah great yeah it is a kind of show azure talk show okay fine so i have just made the changes saved it and let's see what happens now go to the pra uh, command prompt terminal window and i'll see git status it has identified automatically where some yeah. changes have been made in index.cstml yeah. i have made the changes so i need to commit this change again but before commit add is necessary instead of using dot you can just write the name of the file if you are confident enough but that's okay git commit and dash m and this is my message to my commit is a changed uh, welcome message right hit Perfect. Uh, one change has been committed and the commit id has been given this and this change is made on uh, master branch i can see that again status see this everything is clear to you now one operation is required which is pushing this content content to again remote repository so yep. i did it i did it right awesome. come here go to the repo refresh the page go to page index css html and you will see the difference the local file change is now available in the remote repository as well and Perfect. that is it for this demo and uh, if yeah uh, Sachin you may probably have some questions yes uh, I understood it very well and uh, so in a very easiest manner you have explained each bit of as your DevOps repo how can we manage from the local how can we push the entire stuff from your local repository towards azure devops and it will be i believe it will be beneficial to all those guys who haven't started their practice uh, with azure devops so I, this was very clean and crystal clear demonstration which uh, you have just demonstrated and i think it was wonderful thank you Sajin. thanks for compliment and I think, uh, so what are our next next plan about this? Next plan is to create a CI CD pipeline uh, using this service, pipeline service, where we can track uh, uh, your uh, uh, changes automatically here. And we, uh, we need to push this uh, changes to uh, somewhere so that we can uh, show the output on the screen. Sure. Yeah, uh, so uh, Abhishek, uh, without wasting time, kindly, uh, Share me where, how can we, uh, how our audience can reach you if they would have any concern or issue. Just share all, right, all right, uh, all right. So uh, my details are, so my details are here. I am available on Twitter at the rate Abhimetre and my email ID is sonofspm at outlook.com and I am always available on this Azure talk show. Yeah, awesome. Guys, you can also reach me on uh, my Twitter handle is at .net Piper. You can reach me through my blog, which is www.netpiper.com. As you can see on screen and my email ID is mentioned over there. Uh, very uh, soon we will be publishing our Facebook page so that you can drop in your inquiries over there and we will be happy to answer you. Yeah, thank you for now, Abhishek, and uh, we'll reach you very soon. Thank you very much.